The main difference between the off season and during KVK is in KVK there's always things to do, especially in the first week, and uh, you could go from scouting the fog in this scenario to doing barbarians, completing not just the regular quests but the crystal quests as well, join the flag builds. You know, a lot of things to do when you log in each time compared to the off season where you usually just finish the daily quest and you and then you log in to do to send out your farmers and then do some forts, things like that. So in KVK it's always fun and always try to have some value each time when you log in. On the first day I literally just used five peacekeeping marchers and you know just done barbs while I was scouting the fog. And that is the reason why I still ha why I have a lot of honor, and it's probably the most honor that I had in a KVK since I could remember. So it's just double value, and I don't mind spending the AP. And during the first week, I think it's like the most important foundation you can build, and I think I've done just that, even when my time is limited during the day because of work, but. I'm still trying to make it work and I'm still being very consistent and I've scouted pretty much everything except the remaining camp camp zones and I am hesitant on whether whether should I do it but I think in the end I will just because I want to get all the map cleared out it's like an OCD thing to me but uh, as you can see with the video, now I'm just sending my scouts to scout the remaining caves that I've done while I was discovering the territory. I chose this day to record my routine simply because I'm upgrading my Liu to another skill and I'm doing the hunt for history and uh, spoiler alert, I get pretty wrecked. I don't remember the last time I I got so I wouldn't say ripped off but just simply wrecked from doing hunt for history usually I do it very efficiently but this time it was very very actually gem expensive but I it's still value so you'll see it in it later in the video so as you can see my crystal spent is nearly 7 million which is not bad at all my honor is pushing 10k as soon as this video goes live. So I think I've done pretty well for myself. I think I'm still top 50, top 35. And obviously honor ranks have never been my goal. But uh, it's just a nice indicator of activity. And... Uh, I just want to make up for my last KVK where I didn't really stay consistent enough in the beginning. So I really want to rectify that in this KVK. So you will see I'm saving my gold keys for day 5 of this event of the Will of the Ancients. So I can get, I believe it was 20 gold keys in each open. So that's why I hoard them, I usually open them. And uh, I'm doing the Bastion quest and I'm still training T4s, but it's getting very speed ups costly. So I'm gonna probably switch to upgrading to T5s just to make it more sufficient. But I think I've done my goal. My goal was to really have a lot of T4 infantry so I can feel with them. And I have well over 900k. So I think I've done well in that regard. And uh, we got fighting in five days time, so we'll we'll see how that works. And I, like I said in my last video, I'm doing the T4 challenge. I'm just using T4s on the field. I'm not going to use a single T5. The only way T5s are going to be used is joining rallies and garrisons. And... Uh, really looking forward to it I just know for a, a fact my marches will be faster but also will be more squishier because you know T5s offer more stats but they 
offer less movement speed which is a fair trade and uh, yeah we'll see how that goes <clears throat> you will now see my tech my tech is pretty decent for this part i've I pushed for the treaties, but then I got blocked. But then I have to do the first uh, troop attack. Max that, which is still in process, usually takes a lot more than I expected. But uh, it's a different approach than I had in these couple KVKs. And I still have the guide, which I'll put in the description. So don't worry about asking for directions i usually follow them too so i think i'll finish the war tech just in time so i can do more passions and as you will see in the video i unlock kira too so i got kira and joan and the rest are really not really for war like the open field related they're just for garrisons and city rallies which is something we don't need so my kira will obviously go in my archer march and the joan will, will, will li most likely go to my liu Che march and i'm really looking forward to how that buff is going to be especially now with an extra skill added to it and since we haven't still got the crusader fortress and we got the arcus silk road i will I may very well be halfway to another skill. So depending on the events, we'll see how when will I max him. I really hope it's gonna be in a time we're still gonna be fighting, but that's gonna be that's gonna be seen as when it comes. Before we get to the part where I transmute my armament, I just wanna say we reached 150,000 views on the channel. A very big monument for me and uh, obviously we gain a lot of subscribers and if you watch this video and you haven't subscribed then please do so and uh, those who subscribe please like the video so you, I can see your support and I'm really happy with the progression and as for the watch hours I, I believe I need less than 100 now so everything is going as planned and uh, but enough about that thank you for the support it's very appreciated and as you can see i got my kira and now i'm just gonna for the rest of the bastions i'm just, I'm just gonna level them gradually not focus on each one because i don't really need those skills so i'm gonna make each each bastion level six as time goes by and uh, now the hunt for history fun begins now i usually follow the pattern of the video and the image we have in our discord which i'll put in in on the screen as well but this time i really did not get the the results that i wanted which is strange because i usually do and i don't know the last time i didn't really use gems i think i used maybe two two hammers and you will notice when we reach enough that i still buy hammers one by one and not in bulk because if you if you do it in bulk and you get it and you have you i suppose you have the hammers left over but if you're low in gems maybe you shouldn't do that now fortunately i did spend a lot of gems but the only place i'm spending gems on right now is going to be on the liu che wheel which is still like four or five days away and it's kvk each day you wake up to some new gems rewards just for chronicles and occupations and things like that so i'm really not worried especially when i'm doing kvk barbs as well i think i've gained like i think i've gained 5k gems just from doing the five marches with bar, five bar marches so i think it's gems well spent in my opinion but yeah, the reason why I wanted to make the Archer Gloves was simply because I had enough of the, and this Hunt for History would be just enough to make the print. And I was hoping for a crit. Hey, that kind of rhymed. But uh, 
spoiler alert it wasn't meant to be and i don't remember the last time i got a crit legendary and it's getting really annoying for my next craft i'll probably just refine the shields once i get the blueprints from the lost canyon shop which is gonna be a couple days away and it's probably gonna be my biggest bet for refined talent and fingers crossed i guess so if you guys enjoyed the video like subscribe and uh, i will see you in the next one